This is why you should never go to the bathroom during the middle of the night. In 1997, a seven-year-old boy and his younger brother had a habit of using the bathroom during the middle of the night. One day, the younger brother said that he was going to start using the bathroom before bed because the past few nights he'd seen a ghost wearing stripes in the middle of the hallway. The older brother told his mom about the ghost, but she claimed that the younger brother was simply trying to scare him. Eleven years later, the older boy's mother asked him if he remembered the time that the cops came to the door, but he had no idea what she was talking about. The mother then explained, You were too young for me to tell you, but one night I woke up and heard noises coming from outside my window. I looked to my left and saw a man staring into my window. She called the cops and described him as a thin white male wearing a striped shirt. Her description matched that of a murderer who had recently escaped from prison. The police reported that he had been living in the house for weeks. This will make you always keep your hands under the covers. A young girl is home alone because her parents are out of town, with only her dog for company. She turns on the TV to learn that a killer is on the loose in her neighborhood. She runs to check the windows and locks all the doors, but she forgets about the basement window. She takes the dog with her to go to sleep and lets him sleep under the bed, but she awakes hours later to a dripping sound. She's too scared to move, so she reaches down to see if her dog is still there and is granted with a reassuring lick. She then goes to the bathroom to make sure there isn't a leak, but when she walks in, she finds her dog dead, hanging from the shower head with blood slowly dripping onto the tiles. On the bathroom mirror, Written in the dog's blood are the words, People can lick too. This will make you never want to go into space. A man named Michael was alone in space with no other humans for thousands of miles. But then he heard static coming from his radio, and Michael had a gut-wrenching feeling. Hello, this is Michael Stanton of the Rising Dawn. Do you read me? Over. A breathless voice then replied, Thank God, I didn't know how much longer I could survive out here. What's going on? Where are you communicating from? The voice then said back, I'm right outside your ship, Stanton. Open the hatch door and let me in. Michael's heart rate quickened. He found the strength to turn off the radio, and then he heard it. Let me in, the voice repeated, but it wasn't like before. It sounded demonic, and Michael never opened the door. Everyone back home told him he could not have possibly heard those sounds in a space vacuum, but Michael still knew that thing was still out there. This is why you should never play hide and seek at night. A 15 year old boy was camping in the middle of nowhere with his family. One night, they all decided to play manhunt out in the middle of the woods. Each person received a flashlight and was assigned to a team. The boy was placed on the runners, who were being chased by the hunters. They had a five minute head start to run, climb a tree, do anything to escape the hunters. The boy was determined to win, so he ran toward a little path surrounded by bushes and trees. As he was approaching the hiding spot, he heard the blast of an air horn determining the five minutes was up. He dove into a rocky undergrowth, crawling in as fast as he could. He turned to his left and saw a young woman, naked, covered in blood. He then heard footsteps, and when he looked out, he saw a man holding a sharp object in a black garbage bag. Like and follow for part two. Here's why you should never go camping without a weapon. 19-year-old Olga Moskalivyova was camping near a river in Russia with her stepfather Igor when a mother bear attacked them. Seconds later, the 500-pound brown bear broke Igor's neck and smashed his skull. Olga attempted to run, but only got about 200 feet before the bear grabbed her leg and forced her to the ground. Olga was able to make three calls to her mother while the bear and its three cubs were eating her. In the first call, Olga screamed, Mom, the bear is eating me. It's agony. Please help. At first, the mother thought she was joking. But then she heard the horror in Olga's voice and the sounds of bears growling and chewing. The mother called the police and begged them to rush to the river, while her calls with her daughter were cut off three times as she could only helplessly listen to her cries for mercy. In her last call, an hour after the first, Olga said to her mother, Mom, it's not hurting anymore. I don't feel the pain. Please forgive me for everything. I love you so much. The call then cut off and that was the last thing Olga's mother ever heard from her daughter.